Hey, what's up viewers of YouTube? My name is Mark and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we're gonna learn about the do's and don'ts of Suboxone. So if you wanna learn more, stay tuned. Okay, so there are a lot of myths about Subox. Some people say that you should take it for the rest of your life as long as you are uh, free of your drug of choice. Others say stay on it for three days, five days, uh, less under a month in order not to de develop dependency and basically trade one addiction for another. Um, others say that start you know, low, stay low and just end as soon as possible. So what is the right way? There is no right way. The right way is what works for you as long as you do not stay in it for the rest of your life. I do have a couple of uh, suggestions about induction and tapering process, so I'm gonna link them probably on top right now. Um, so feel free to click on the link above you. But there are also other very important keys that you should know about buprenorphine. So very important part of it is if you are tapering, and you should be tapering, do not drink alcohol with Suboxone. Why? Because if you have a, a particular strategy of dealing with your addiction and you want to taper off slowly, drinking alcohol flushes a lot of it out. So you will not be able to know when you are stable at your present uh, tapering dose. So no booze. Another important point is if you choose to taper Suboxone, and it could be after a month of taking it or after a week of taking it. And the most important part, you, you have to drink a lot of water. Buprenorphine and naloxone immensely dehydrate you. So you're gonna have headaches and other side effects uh, of buprenorphine, which is the main ingredient of Suboxone. Um, so drink a lot of water, I'm talking about 10 ounces each hour in order to avoid headaches uh, or any other negative side effects. Um, absolutely no benzodiazepines unless you are under strict supervision of a doctor who knows about your um, buprenorphine prescription and also prescribes you your benzodiazepines. But avoid taking any benzos or alcohol while on suboxone. It could be really dangerous. So my advice, no other substances while on Subox. Before using Subox and film, it's recommended that you wash your mouth with a Listerine or any other mouthwash and um, then you put that Suboxone underneath your tongue. Why? It basically activates your blood vessels underneath your tongue which allows better absorption and uh, a cleaner mouth is better in general, right? So definitely use mouthwash or Listerine before you uh, input that thing in. After you put that under your tongue, it's ideal for you to hold it for at least full seven to eight minutes before uh, swallowing it or spitting it out, whatever option you choose. So like I said, you know, keep it for at least you know seven, eight, ten minutes, the longer the better. Um, you could spit it out or swallow it, it's up to you, no matter what you do, both methods will bring you the results. If you decide to taper the product, and I think you should, why? Again, because because of the long half-life of buprenorphine, I think it's I, it was meant to be tapered. It wasn't meant to be taken for the rest of your life um, because of the long ass half-life. So if you do plan to taper, I advise you to take your buprenorphine in the beginning two to three times a day because it will help you stick with your regimen and uh, not mess up your brain psychology when using when you were using so when you were using your drug of choice you probably did it throughout the day so in the beginning try to do it three times a day break it up break your dose into three different smaller doses it will kind of prevent many different issues so a you will minimize the risk of side effects like headache like i mentioned earlier and it will also keep you in shape throughout the day so where you will not be too hyper too anxious or too buzzed if you want to use that word so it's better to break your dose in three parts it will help you tremendously down the line when it comes to tapering down to lower dosages 
when you get to something like two milligrams or more then absolutely you can do it to twice a day and you'll be fine so again yeah, tapering is a must in my humble opinion and uh, to taper it right in the beginning do it three times a day what it also do it will like I said help your psychology uh, it will help you mentally and emotionally uh, because you are used to taking something for a long period of time and you did it throughout the day so taking it three times a day at first will help you help you rewire your brain um, to not be in shock that you're not taking anything throughout the day um, taking it once a day in my opinion is not effective because you are getting too buzzed if you want to use that word you know um, it kind of brings you down you get a little dizzy or whatever the consequences are and then you kind of slowly you know getting to be normal again and uh, when you take your suboxone three times a day I guarantee you you will find yourself taking much less buprenorphine throughout the 24 hour window versus taking it once in the morning and that's it so that's another trick to you know either save your suboxone or to get off it you know quicker in addition if you do decide to taper suboxone and do it the right way Try to avoid using any comfort medications, whether prescription or over-the-counter or supplements or nootropics. Avoid using anything in the very beginning stages of suboxone maintenance or detox or taper until you actually get stable at your ideal dose in the very beginning. And when you taper it the very first time, try to stick with your taper regimen and only stick to uh, buprenorphine and once you get down to anything under two milligrams or under three milligrams you can definitely introduce additional supplements or vitamins or what have you like I mentioned earlier it's very important to introduce new habits positive life changes into your life uh, such as exercising uh, eating healthier finding new hobbies and to make sure you are occupied with something that will keep you away from drugs as far as possible guys and I know there will be questions and maybe negative comments about things that I just said especially about using suboxone three times a day and about not using nootropics and or vitamins and minerals at first if you guys have any questions or concerns or comments please uh, leave them down below I would love to have a discussion with you and maybe explain myself more thoroughly. I just don't want this video to go over 15 minutes. That's why I was trying to be as precise and concise as possible. So please, if you have any questions, concerns or comments about what I just said, to let me know down below. Thank you. I think that's about it. I think that those are the main key. Um, tricks and you know do's and don'ts about buprenorphine and about using the right way so if you guys like the video please leave a like subscribe to my channel let me know what you think let me know what um, I missed about the, the pros and cons the do's and don'ts if you think tapering is not the best option let me know if you think if you agree with me that tapering is a must let me uh, know down below right now I would really appreciate it and on this note uh, be blessed, be safe, be well, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.